Being a confident, smooth and fast descender is one of the key elements that makes a top level racer. But actually descents themselves can pose some possibilities to go on the attack. If you've got some good bike handling skills, then you can use that, combine it with good timing and taking into account the specific dynamics of the descent to gain yourself an advantage. Places to attack. The crest of a hill. When the top of a climb is reached, many riders see this as an opportunity to rest and recuperate, especially if they've had a hard time. This mindset provides a fertile opportunity on the road to exploit and attack. Rather than breathe out and relax, attack hard just as others are starting to slow. Imagine your finish line is 200 meters past the summit. This is an ideal occasion to open up a lead that may prove difficult to close. The key is also to attack from behind, so you always have the element of surprise. Use a false flat. Some of the longer descents have gradients that shift and change. Use that gradient to your advantage and attack hard from behind when the road flattens a touch, where effort is required rather than just freewheeling. This approach enables you to create and establish a gap prior to the road steepening again, when gravity takes over, leaving little opportunity to close the gap. Corners. Attacking in corners requires a high level of skill so should not be attempted unless you are experienced as invariably you will come to grief. Using good technique in corners, especially on hairpins, can have a devastating effect, especially if you sense a weakness or overcautiousness in other riders around you. If you do see this, exploit it. Try braking later than others on the approach to a hairpin, opening a gap, then once you have exited the corner, stamp hard on the pedals in a pre-selected gear, rather than gradually building up the speed again. Then repeat on the next corner again to keep eking out that gap. The bottom of a descent. These provide the perfect opportunity to attack as the bunch is often lined out over some distance. This situation is ideal to utilise to your advantage. Firstly, ensure you're near the front of the group or bunch, but not on the front. Use other riders' slipstreams as much as you can, ideally you shouldn't be pedalling. As the bottom of the descent approaches, pick the point on the road that flattens as your attack point. Stay in the slipstream as long as you can before attacking from behind another rider in an all-out sprint. Utilise the momentum the descent has gifted you to maximal effect. You should open a gap up immediately. Tips. Get low and aero on the bike. Once you've opened up a gap, Get low on the drops and make yourself as aero as possible. You need to think more about getting a low centre of gravity as the lower you can get, the better stabilised you and your bike will be. You'll get improved traction too and this will all help towards establishing your gap. Don't look round. Looking behind you, especially in the first few moments after an attack, is fruitless and will cost you valuable seconds. This is because one, it's unaerodynamic, two, breaks your rhythm and three, it's dangerous. You need to be looking ahead. Of course, there's no harm taking a glance behind once you've been going for a while. Just make sure it's on a straight bit of road. Use your knowledge. If you know a descent and its particular characteristics, ensure that you use this to your advantage. It could be that you know the exit of a difficult looking blind bend, for example. So on the approach, stay behind, wait for the others to apply their brakes and slow before hitting them from behind and opening a gap, taking the line you know to be safe. Knowledge is power, so use it to your benefit. If you're looking for cycling how-to videos, well, we've got a whole host for you here at GCN. You see this one? If not, click here.